These days, we are active mainly in Nepal, especially in Boda, we established quite a lot of projects and the motto of Rokpa is helping where help is needed and that's what we're trying to do every single day. I started a soup kitchen here in Boda. That time there were so many street kids. I started to take children from the street, which was not the intention. And somehow we came together like mother and children. After a few years of giving them enough food, finding very generous and kind sponsors, they grew. So we needed to have a bigger house. I met some people who said they wanted to help. So together with them, we actually managed to build this Rockpa Children's Home. And at the moment, we have about 60 kids living here, and many of them are now uh, already in university, and more are coming every year. And they are all little social workers, and they're all helping each other grow up and be happy and, and overcome the pain and suffering they've had when they were small. So I realized if we take the mothers and educate them in some kind of handicraft, in our case it was sewing and, and stitching and even knitting in some ways, then their children will never beg in the streets again. So that turned out to be a really successful project and whatever they created we could sell abroad and the money went back for them and their families and now we have a women's workshop and also a training workshop where we take women every six months and after six months or eight months we provide them with sewing machines and they can go out and start their own businesses. By giving them a skill, their self-esteem grows and they become strong women. They are now independent, strong business women who will fight for their own rights. And that is the side effect of having the Rockba Women's Workshop. We realized that more could be done. So we built a building there uh, which I called Akong Rinpoche Memorial Center. It's to honor him and pay tribute to this extraordinary human being. The building is named after my very beloved teacher, Dr. Akong Toko Rinpoche. He was an extraordinary human being who helped tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people. And he was somebody who perfectly mixed wisdom with compassion, and that is why that building will continue Akong Rinpoche's vision in the future. The building is now hosting a hospitality training center at the ground floor, where our kids from dysfunctional and poor families can come and learn cooking and baking and, and housekeeping and management. On the second floor, we added seven deluxe rooms and suites. The top floor, we, we built two apartments for those who really know how to enjoy themselves. And we have a rooftop terrace for those in love who want to see the sundown with a glass of wonderful Rokba wine. So we have everything to offer to make people happy. Meanwhile, by the fact that our own Rokba kids started to manage the guest house and the restaurant, it started to thrive because our guests would understand if they stay with Rokpa, if they eat in our guest house, if they buy from our women's workshop, the profit goes back to the education of our children. That creates sustainability and it is fully transparent as everybody can see where the money goes and it creates all the possibility to make new projects and help more people. So our own kids are the ones generating the income to help more children like them. We'll continue Akong Rinpoche's vision in the future. So this is BJ. Today, he's a manager of the Rokpa Children's Home and the general manager together with Saga of all the projects in Nepal by Rokpa. Anju just finished a year ago her master's in uh, social studies and so she's the perfect completion of our team. She also took over from me a large part of my work uh, doing social work with, with all the people who come for help. She doesn't only serve the food, she learns public health. She 
goes to college. And uh, she is the reason many people come back to the guest house. He was able to go to Leicester University and he's only just returned a couple of months ago. And he's the choreographer of most of the dances here. Let me just say thank you, thank you, thank you. All the people who've sponsored, who've helped with money, who've helped with trust, because without you, we can't make it. And with you, look what's been made. Come and visit us and see for yourself.